Good morning, darling. So, I just woke up. It's like 9 o'clock. I kind of wish I woke up earlier, but um, <clears throat> it's been kind of hard to sleep. Like, it takes me a while to get used to sleeping in the van again, but hopefully that won't take very long to get used to it again. So, today's agenda, well, I have to move from this spot. I have to go, I'm going to stay at the same campground, but go to a different spot. So, I was thinking about going into town and uploading some of my YouTube videos, but that's going to take freaking forever. It's going to be kind of annoying. I might just do it at the end of the weekend and just make a bunch of videos and then upload them all at the same time. Maybe get an Airbnb and just do it that way. But it's kind of cloudy today. Um, I want to go biking and obviously find all the mushrooms and do some more macro photography, do some yoga, same kind of thing as yesterday, but more, more cool stuff. So that's my plan for today. So this is my dream book and every time I have dreams, I look up to see the meaning. Like if I had a dream about a dog, I would look up dog and see what it means. And last night I had a dream about, I had lots of different dreams. I was like at the grocery store getting therapy with my dog and then I left early because there was too many other annoying people who had dogs and I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna look it up I know dogs mean happy socializing which I'm gonna be going to a mushroom festival next week so I guess that's what it means but I've had this dream book since I was like 14 literally like almost 20 years now I've had it so it's really crazy how it can basically tell my future like it's just been so consistent over 20 years it kind of freaks me out like how do they even know this so dogs and money is like what all my dreams mean right now and or friends and money so I like that <sighs> it's a new day and it's nice out now sun is coming out it's getting kind of chilly so I'm gonna go for like a short walk try to find some something to take cool pictures of and then I want to go biking and I need to take some pictures from my website and make a little money I spent all morning like three freaking hours trying to figure out where I could get Wi-Fi to download or upload these freaking YouTube videos and I still don't really know what I'm doing so that's annoying so this is my first time out today but we're gonna find something cool hey oh that's a big old reishi dang Ganoderma Look at this giant tree. It's huge. I love big trees. It's getting kind of warm out now, so I'm gonna strip. I always got a mushroom shirt on, of course. Ooh, check this out. Scootalina. These are the eyelash cup fungus. There's a bunch of them. I'll try to get some good pictures and get some close-ups of the eyelash. Well, I think these are... Yeah, they are. Nice. There's more of those woolly aphids. Look at them. You gotta move the branch to make a move. What a bunch of freaks. We got some more puff balls here. Boop, boop, boop. Look at all the spores coming out. 
Ugh, I'm gonna be covered in spores now. Check this out. Oh. Ooh. Look at this guy. So this is actually a bolete. Oh, cool. This is a bolete that's being eaten by another fungi. The white layer on top of it is a parasitic fungi that's eating the mushroom. I'm guessing it's eating this, whatever this is, some kind of bolete. I don't know my bolete's super well either. Ooh, it's kind of cool though. It's got like a red base. Cool. I love the parasites. There's another one over there. There's another one there too. Sweet. Ooh, these are kind of cute. I don't know what these are. They're kind of adorable though. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, here's a big old boy. He's a juicy one too. One down here. I want to say this is the red belted polypore? The red belt maybe? I don't know. I don't know my polypores very well. I have to double check that. But the gutation is really cool. All these little water droplets are just the mushroom sweating out extra moisture. I don't know, this area seems a lot more dry than the other area I was at yesterday. I might go a little bit further, check it out, and head back. Yeah, I switched my camp spots for three, so yeah. a really pretty bolete. I think it might be a two color bolete. Oh, it looks like it might bruise blue. See that little blue one's out? Let's try to write something on it. Oh yeah. Wow. That's freaking cool. That's beautiful. So this is a bolete that bruises blue and just because it bruises blue doesn't mean it's active. There's lots of mushrooms that bruise blue and they're not active. So, but that's pretty cool. I love these. So, I think I'm gonna head back. It's dry as shit out here. Just not as cool as the other trail, but that's all right. I'll go back and there's just like all these polypores that are out right now. Polypores is kind of boring to me. No offense to polypore people, but it's just not my cup of tea. I want to find some purple and blue again. So yeah, headed back soon. Found a really cool log with all kinds of stuff on it. Slime molds and stuff. Um, more of the asco corn. I think this is real asco corn. I don't know if the other one was. But a lot of this stuff is too small to see on the GoPro, so I'll show you when I do the macro photography. Check it out over here. We got wolf's milk. This is a slime mold. This one's a little more mature. The pink ones are younger, I think. love it when I find a good log. Sometimes I can stay at like one log for like literally hours and just find so much cool stuff. That's a wet ass log right there. I love it. Okay, cool. That log really saved the day. I love it even when it's dry sometimes. You can find a nice wet log. Find so many cool tiny things. So it'll be fun to do some macro photography. 
I'm gonna go back and make some euros. Hell yeah. Should be yummy. Man, I hope it's good. That looks pretty good though. It smells good. I forgot to bring a plate, so I'm just using this cutting board. That's damn good. Yay, I did something. Thank God. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I approve. Wish I had mushrooms, but oh well. This is the wasp nest slime mold. So if you, I don't know if you can kind of see, it kind of looks like a wasp nest. So it's super tiny. I have the extension tubes and magnifier on there. It's like another world in there, you guys. It's so cool. I can't get over how freaking cool this slime mold is. I feel like I'm peering into it alien universe. It's so tiny and weird. This is so cool. So this camera has built in focus stacking which means it'll take like 15 pictures at different areas and put them all together and it helps with macro photography so I can get super small stuff like slime. It's, it's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of slime mold this is but this is pretty cool too. Okay, love you. Bye.